So by now, y'all already know that 3D Gaussian splats are becoming the most popular and photorealistic method to take a video of any object and turn it into 3D, like this. See, I told you, we've already done it with a stadium and the pyramids. But there is one problem. The reason 90% of you haven't already joined the G-Splat gang is because you need the beefy graphics card and the knowledge to use the command prompt. Well, no more, because Polycam just made it super easy with their own 3D Gaussian Splat creator that runs on their website. And for that, we came all the way to an Arabian desert. To show you guys how easy it is to turn anything into 3D using 3D Gaussian Splatic. Yeah! method is free, fast, and you can export it and take it to any software like Unreal Engine 5. We're going to scan several objects, including this camel, this falcon, and this buggy. In this video, we're going to share with you how to capture a Gaussian and process it on Polycam, give you all of our top tips to get the best result, and even bring the Gaussians into Unreal Engine 5 to see if you can get some dope renders. Let's go! Your input for training Gaussians are images, and you can upload up to 200 of them on Polycam. But if you think about it, videos are essentially multiple images representing a frame. So we can shoot a video and later export it as image sequences. Taking a video is much easier, definitely faster, and can be done by almost anybody. But it does come at a cost of quality because videos have motion blur. Now taking photos on the other hand can be a lot more deliberate and focused which can yield fantastic 3D results but it can take twice or three times longer than taking a video. Since we are in a desert under uncontrolled circumstances, we are gonna shoot videos only to save time and get more scans. Now, how can we get the best G-Splats? Well, with over hundreds of scans with photogrammetry, nerfs, and now Gaussians, we recommend the following. Resolution, the higher the better. Ours is at 4K. Camera choice. The beefier, the better, but your iPhone will work just fine. Plus, it's always on you. Lens. A wide lens like the 0.5 on the iPhone allows us to capture more detail in the shortest amount of time possible. But you can also argue that a prime lens on a DSLR can give you sharper results. So by all means, go ahead and experiment. Lighting. Having an ample amount of light is always important for capturing. However, Gaussian have shown promising results even under low light conditions. Camera movement. No panning, no tilting, and no zooming. Just move around your subject. The simple rule here is that you need to move your body, mostly your legs, not your wrists. Now, if you're scanning an object, considering that you want the entire object in your Gaussian splat, you want to go ahead and go around it one time in full circle while keeping it in the center of the frame. Now, if you're trying to scan an entire environment in 360 degrees, you want to go ahead and follow the exact same movement of an orbit, but this time, if you don't have an object in the middle of the scene, pretend as if there was an object and orbit around it. This way, you'll capture the entire environment. ISO, aperture, shutter speed. Low ISO, low aperture, high shutter speed. Higher shutter speed means less motion blur and therefore the subject will appear sharper. Low ISO equals less noise and lower aperture means higher depth of field, which means everything in the shot will be in focus. Now that we're done capturing, it's time to process with Polycam. If you took photos, you can skip this part. But if you took videos like us, then it's time to convert them into image sequences. And you can do this with a range of different softwares like Premiere, DaVinci, or Image Magic. There are even online tools made specifically for this purpose. But just be aware of image compression because sometimes you might lose quality during the conversion. Now, with all these images, go to poly.cam, click on Create Capture, then click on Create Gaussian Splat, upload your JPEG or PNG files, and click Upload and Process. After that, the processing will start and it can take somewhere from 20 to 40 minutes. Ours is done, let's go and check it out. We're behind the computer right now on Polycam and we want to show you guys our best scans of the buggy, of the falcon, and of the camel. Now, Farhad, what are we going to start with? Let's start with the buggy. Let's start with the buggy, okay. The best one is the one that we took with an iPhone. So, this one was shot 4K 30 frames. Yep. Wide angle lens on Horizontal, an iPhone. Yeah, and, and what you can see, I did it a bit different. 
I did the full orbit and I did a little bit of close up to make sure I get the whole seat area and inside the car as well. And we haven't done that with the other ones. So what we can do is we can go and compare to see if I do close up, does it affect the final Gaussian scan or no? Okay, so let's take a look at the Gaussian splat that was generated from this and look at how fast it loads. Literally that fast. That's the beauty of Gaussian splats, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this, wow. look at this, dude, just, Imagine this, a year, two years ago, if you told me you can just go around an object and just record with your iPhone and okay. you'll be able to get this. You, you oh. see, you, you can exactly see how the seats look like. Dude, that's super cool because you did the orbit yes. and then you went on top. Yes, let let's me, check the other one. Yeah, let me show you guys something really cool. So if you go to another scan that we did, and this one was shot by myself, and unlike Farhad, I didn't focus on the chair. Yeah, this is the end, so, so it, it restarts here. Look at that, so on the, the right side is the vertical, and on the left side is the horizontal Dude, shot. You, you see, you get the branding on the seat here. And you, you got see. the belts too, yes. you got the belts, the branding. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and even the front side is a lot more clearer than the and one detail, on the right. Yeah. So do close ups. Since Gaussian splats work really well with items that are closer to the camera rather than the ones that are extremely far away, we totally recommend you guys try out horizontal shots as well like Farad did, and then try to get close to your object if you can. There were two big problems with the camel. One was the lighting and the other one was the camel itself. Look at him, kept moving the whole time. Only part about this video that is static is the camel's back. I wanna tell you guys, that's the part that is gonna look the best before we get into it. So we did one full orbit, as you can imagine, but the camel was moving all the time. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Boom, do you see that? Yeah. Do you see it? At this specific angle, it's we amazing. have the yeah. perfect camel because that's the part that it was staying static and the Gaussian splats recognize that. But the moment we move away, look at what happens to the head. But this is such an illusion, right? No, move, move a bit more, move a bit more, move a bit more. Look. The one angle, two, two angle, and, and three, three. This is, but the back, back looks is amazing. stunning. Look Dude, at we that. We got all the details from the carpet that was on, was it the carpet or a rug? Yeah. On the camel. And then look at the sand. Look at the sand. Look at how the feet are just sunk into the sand. And you see all of that detail very clearly. And as I move around the camel, even on this side, which was, guys, it was absolutely dark. dark. It was so freaking dark. There was no light. Shot on the iPhone, 4K 30 frames per second vertical. And what's really cool is we only had, how long? Less than 30 seconds, all right? Yes. I was pretty stable as you can yeah. see and Farhad did a complete orbit around me. I actually did move a little bit. <laughs> Three, two, whoa. Wow. wow. Look at that. This is so awesome. This is amazing. You know what's really cool? Look at the quality of my eyes. Do you yeah. see the eyes? Just the head in general, of course it's not 100% perfect, not yet at least. But dude, for a 30 second video, in a windy condition, under a hot desert circumstance, this is something you wouldn't be able to get without Gaussian splats. Even my back is in there. Wow. Three, two, one. Whoa. Did you see that? This is crazy. And look at how cool this shot looks. Look at how I'm looking at the Falcon. So what's really awesome is once you have a scan that you wanna check out in a 3D software, you can just go ahead to download and choose splat.py and then start download. So if you guys wanna try out the Unreal plugin, we made a video about that uh, previously just before I'll link this. it here. And what you're looking at is a specifically altered version of Unreal Engine 5. And the plugin that we're using is called Metashoot. Shout out to Jorge. It's basically a product visualization plugin which allows you to have all of these beautiful light setups and the background setup, which you can actually easily change with these presets, which looks absolutely amazing. And all of these settings is something you can change. Now, we're not here to talk about this plugin. The reason we wanted to use it in this video is because we thought it'd be cool if you drag and drop the Gaussian splats inside Unreal Engine 5 and not have to do with the lighting setup ourselves, put it somewhere that it's gonna be the absolute best look so, you, so that you guys can experience it outside of the usual viewer. So. One more thing you guys need to know of is how we actually import these Gaussian splats. So we actually went ahead and installed our Gaussian splat plugin, which is right here, 3D Gaussians. 
This one's a paid plugin. It's on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So we're gonna go up here. This was the Falcon file that we just downloaded. All I have to do is just click it because what it does is it takes the point cloud, switches it to Niagara particles that we can view in Unreal Engine 5. And they just go straight into your content browser like this. You can drag and drop it here. Boom. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Okay, let me move this back. I think I'm a little bit too big, aren't I? Yeah. But that kind of looks cool too. Dude, Yo, this, this, looks, looks this looks really cool. We should use that to crop all of these extra splats in this space. Let's get rid of all of them. All right, so we're done with the cropping. Fal, what do you think? Dude, it looks amazing. Wow, look at the falcon. And the way you look at the falcon. Dude, the fact that you have a 3D me and a falcon in a studio in Unreal Engine 5 in 3D with great quality. And plus, I can actually increase the degrees here to three to have better colors. Look at me, do you see that? Yeah. That's one of the features of the plugin. It works on the, the spherical harmonics degree. This is actually one of the settings of Gaussian Splats itself, so it's not unique to this plugin. So you're able to go to degree three, which has the best view dependent colors. And right now, I would say the only thing that will make this so much better is what we asked for in our previous video as well. Imagine instead of cropping, you could go in and paint out the splats that are annoying you, like the ones at the top, because you can't really crop this. If you crop this, my head will be cropped. Okay, so let's play with it a little bit. Let's change the background. Okay. Oh. Yo. Go to the plain white one. Plain white? Yeah. Let's go to... This is crazy, man. You told me this reminds you of the beginning of James Bond movie. Like Suicide Squad yeah, and James intro, Bond. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Can you do an intro for the buggy and the falcon? Oh, so like an intro for this video? Yes. Cinematic intro? Yes. All right, let's do it in three, two, two one, boom! No more excuses, guys. You can go and create your own 3D Gaussian splat. It's free and easy. Wait. You haven't subscribed yet? Fal, come on, come on. They haven't subscribed. Wait a minute. They haven't subscribed yet. Haven't you? They haven't subscribed yet. No. Wait, wait. She hasn't subscribed either. What? They haven't freaking Let's subscribed. Go.